morning everybody. It is so early right now. I'm so tired. I woke up at 5.45 to work out and I did. Here's, you know, here's the gear. Something really exciting. Do you guys remember my cousin from Germany? She is in town. She's in California right now. So she's here with me and I'm here with all her friends. So I'm gonna show them around Hermosa a little bit. All right, so now we're walking around town. I am taking them to Starbucks, <laughs> real original. I was gonna take them to Gumtree, which is right up there. Say hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> you guys remember his Sophia? Back with her most favorite cousin ever. So yeah, Starbucks is there. This is the pier. And then Gumtree is way up there. Say your name and where you're from. I'm Lara and I'm from the Netherlands. I'm from Denmark and my name is Astrid. I'm Sarah and I'm from Australia. Yeah, from Germany. <laughs> I'm in Starbucks now. I got me a vanilla latte. My favorite. So good. Here's our view this fine morning. Everyone got Starbucks. I got oatmeal and a fruit parfait. And I think you guys all got bagels, right? Yeah. You got some Come on, guys. We need some originality up in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bagels are so good. I just don't eat bread anymore. Mm. Hey everybody, so I'm just gonna chit chat with you for two seconds since I started this vlog off pretty abruptly. Anyway, so I'm back in bed. I'm so tired. I woke up at 5.45 like I said at the beginning of this vlog to work out. I didn't work out this weekend so I wanted to make sure I worked out this morning and then I wanted to make sure my cousin and her friends got food. Um, they were just, they're all nannies in the US and so they're all like road tripping right now through the US throughout the US together. Anyway, um, I didn't vlog this weekend. I just have been honestly so out of it and like personally going through some stuff of just coping with issues of my past relationship and just a, a lot of stuff, y'all. Like if you suppress emotions and pain for such a long time, it's gonna come back up and hit you like a ton of freaking bricks and that's what happened to me this past weekend. And I, I think that I have a lot of coping and healing to do still from my past relationship and I know this is like a super random thing just to throw in there but I just feel like I'm a little bit out of it right now and I also feel like being here for the month like I still have a week left I feel like being here for the month is just really kind of starting to hit me right now because I'm not in a routine this is not my regular place food workout routine like sleep schedule like I am not consistent with my uploading right now because this is not my house like this is not where I normally film so just everything is kind of being a little shooken up for me right now and it's like I'm not trying to be dramatic but I'm just saying like it's just different for me so I'm trying to figure out how to like move on and progress and still be successful in what I'm doing here because this is not my own house. Anyway, so I'm gonna take a nap. Um, I'm just really, really tired, so I'm gonna take a nap really quickly, and then when I wake up, I'm gonna try and be really productive because I got some stuff to do. I have a photo shoot tonight, which I'm pretty amped for. Um, so yeah, today should be really fun. I'm gonna try and just get a lot of stuff done and be positive and just, you know, keep trucking forward. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I have risen from my nap. I am currently editing right now. And I also just got to see my Beautycon like hollow box video. If you guys remember from my Beautycon vlog, I did that like hollow box video where like, let me just show you, okay? <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> Hey guys, hours later, I am getting ready for this photo shoot. I just curled my hair. I've learned a new way to curl my hair. Kind of obsessed with it. Let me know if you want a tutorial because I'm loving it. Um, I just did my makeup and I'm trying to pick out my outfits. I have to leave in about 30 minutes. So I have not picked out any outfits. I'm shooting with this amazing photographer. His name's Jose. He's incredible. We're going to go, I'm going to go to Rodeo Drive to do it. Um, so I'm trying to get ready as fast as I can. Hopefully these pictures turn out well. Good afternoon, everybody. I am here on Rodeo Drive, bougie as freaking ever. I'm wearing an all-white look today. Here we are. I'm waiting for the photographer to get here. It's so bougie over here, I can't handle it. Like, okay, all right. Here's the OO, TD. These are Key, Lulu's, Fashion Nova, uh, Nordstrom, and then yeah. 
I like my hair today. It's like loose waves. I like the glasses in there. That's pretty fun. And the glasses in your shades match the glass in the back. Love. All right, guys. I'm still here on Rodeo. This is my photographer, Jose. Hey, hey, hey. He's testing the lighting right now. Um, we're, we've gotten some really cool shots so far. Rodeo is beautiful. And everyone's staring. It's awkward, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Still in Rodeo. I change into an all black look now. Here we go. All black. Went from all white to all black. I like it. My favorite colors. Hi hey guys, I'm back home. I'm making me some dinner. It's really late though. I probably should not be eating this pasta, but I don't want to cook and this is the best I got. I'm hungry. Anyway, Adam, Sarah's roommate, got this dope speaker. It's massive. It sounds amazing. Of course, guess what I'm playing? Elevation Worship. It's my favorite. But yeah, this pasta cooks in seven minutes. It's super easy to cook. You should put it in a pan with a little bit of oil and water and you just mix it around and you're good to go. Hi guys, I'm here with my Favy, Favy. Hey guys. She was gone all day today running errands. I was doing errands, so we're back here just catching up. Finally together, reunited. Yep, just trying to figure out our lives and whatever. So if you guys didn't know, well, actually why would you know? I didn't tell you yet. I'm um, trying out for a role in this acting thing on Wednesday. I'm not expecting to get it. It's literally just for experience. So I'm going through the, line, the lines right now with Sarah. Can't show you the script because I'd be breaking some rules and I can't really tell you what it's for, but it's gonna be kind of fun. Like, I, I really don't expect to get it. I just think it's gonna be fun to do. Anyway, I'm gonna just end the vlog here because I'm gonna go to bed after this and I'm gonna work out pretty early in the morning. So thank you guys for watching today's vlog. I'll see you again very soon. I'm like tomorrow most likely. So peace out, girls. Yeah, bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is another day in LA. Something exciting I am doing today is I'm heading off to my very first acting audition. That's freaking right, because I've always wanted to do acting since I was young, and so I thought that this would be a fun little opportunity just to test out while I'm here in LA. So, I will be also incorporating this, like, acting audition into a main channel video, so you'll see the full story of this on my main channel. It's kind of fun, actually. So, we'll see how this audition goes. I've been trying to prep as well as I can, as best as I can. We'll see how it goes. I feel like I'm always running late in LA. Always running late. Like, I cannot get used to this traffic. Like, I have been to LA over 20 billion times, and I'm still not accustomed to this traffic because it's just, it's simply just not like this in Texas. So everywhere I go, I'm like running late and I'm always stressed out and I hate that feeling. So I probably should, you know, step that up and stop being late everywhere. Um, anyway, so yeah, I got this audition and then guess what? My parents and sister are in LA. They are here to visit me and I'm so excited. They're going to be here from like Wednesday to like the weekend. So I'm going to have to get, I'm going to get a lot of time with the fam bam. I'm so excited. I miss my parents, miss my sister. I'm really excited to see everybody and just do adventures. And I don't know, there's a bunch of fun stuff planned this week. So let's just get right into this vlog. All right, y'all, I finished the audition. I messed up at first. They let me redo the line, and then I think I did okay the second time. Um, again, I don't expect to be getting the part, but it's just fun to, you know, say I tried it. Now I'm at Third Street Promenade. I just parked. I have to run to Aloe because I'm picking up some pieces from Aloe. They were so kind and gifted. They're gifting me some pieces. So I get to go and pick those out, and I might pick up a little bit of a bite to eat, and then meet up with my sister and brother-in-law later. So, let's go! I changed into my brandy tube top because um, the other shirt was kind of stained. Oops. <laughs> and everyone's staring at me vlogging, but I don't freaking care. <laughs> and here we are, back in heaven. I love their stuff. I want to try these ones because they have these like Cool rip slits on them, and I know Danny had a top like this. I thought it was so cute. They have a coffee bar in the store. How incredible! Currently, they're making me a vanilla latte. Like this is like the best shopping experience ever. I really like the aesthetic of this store too. It's super. I don't know. The way they lay it out is really nice. It's like very visually appealing. These are kind of fun. Wait, whoa! Love these. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Free coffee. Amazing. This is so good. Thank you so much. Here I am in aloe, trying on clothes. 
how freaking dope are these leggings? I love them. I think I'm gonna get them. Sports bra, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I don't know why. It's something about them that I don't like. Maybe because it doesn't have padding in it. I'm not sure. Anyway, grabbed a bunch of stuff. Been trying this all on. I <laughs> really, really like these ones. Final selections. I chose this bra. These leggings. Love those. Black workout top, which I got my deodorant on. Just fits really well. White cute crop top. And these gray leggings with the little cutouts in them. So I'm pretty happy with my selections. Hey guys, so I'm back from the aloe store. I got a lot of goodies, that was great. They gave me this really cool bag. Anyway, funny freaking story. Walking by the Skechers store, like on a freaking mission to get to my car, right? And this guy just comes jogging up to me in his workout clothes and like stops me. He's like, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm like, yes. And he's like, I'm so sorry. Like, I just had to say something like, you're so beautiful. It's not every day that I see a girl as beautiful as you just walking by the Skechers store. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> he's like, you know, striking a small conversation. Yo, where are you from? What do you do? Like, I was like, yeah, I'm just here for the summer. Like, he looked a lot older, like at least in his 30s. Like, he had gray hair. Like, he was good looking, but it was not really like my type. Um, so I was cordial, I was nice. I wasn't gonna be like a complete prick to him and be like, I'm not interested. Like, I don't ever do that. Um, so I was just cordial, I was very nice, whatever. Tried to have a conversation with him. And he's like, you're way too nice to be from here. And I was like, yeah, I'm from Texas. He's like, oh, that makes sense. And he's like, I just got back from Austin. And I was like, yeah, I'm from Dallas. And then I like said y'all. And he's like, well, that's a dead giveaway that you're from Texas. I was like, yeah, you know, you can't take the Texas out of the girl, but you can take her out of Texas anyway. And so it was just like this kind of awkward conversation, like nice, nice dude. But then he was just like, all right, nice to meet you. Bye. Like I thought he was going to be like, can I get your number? Can I take you on a date? Like, I'm honestly really glad he didn't. Cause I would have had to say no, cause I wasn't interested, but he was just like, all right, well, so nice to meet you. Bye. And I was just like, bye. <laughs> it was funny. So just my lucky day. I got a flat tire, hit a pothole. I'm pulled over at the side of the road right now. I flagged a cop down. Hopefully he's gonna come help me. Um, so this is awkward because I really, I'm screwed otherwise. And I feel bad, this is Sarah's car. This is so not good. All right, so the cop never stopped for me. This is not Texas anymore, y'all. Like literally looked at me and waved and was like, and like I was on the phone like waving like help and he never came back for me. Like I said, if, if I did say this, my sister and brother-in-law are in town. So they're coming to help me, but they're about 20 minutes away. So I'm just gonna chill here. Uh, that's what happened to me. I had to pull over in a no uh, private property, no trespassing zone type of thing. And this parking enforcement just drove by me and like right as he drove by me, he put his lights on. So I think he's coming back and he's helping me be like, why are you sitting here? And then watch me get a ticket and make this day even worse. Wish me luck, I'll let you know if he comes back for me. All right, so here's the tire. I blew that bad boy up, yikes. So my sister's here, she's here to help me. My sister from Seattle, you met her. She's the one road tripping in the US on my vlog channel, if you remember. Turns out Sarah's car doesn't have a spare tire, so I can't even change the tire. So we have to go literally buy a whole new tire and then come back. So this is quite the process. <laughs> Angie, thanks for rescuing me. <laughs> Okay, I put that in the window. All right, now I'm in their van. If you guys remember from Seattle, they're road tripping around the U.S. They decked out this van. Look how dope it is. It's so dope. I love it. So we're gonna have to go get a new tire because Sarah's car doesn't have a spare, unfortunately. So, and I still have to pee. I've had to pee for the past hour. <laughs> Sister's making me come back alive. She got me food and everything. I've been hungry for the past two hours. This is how we eat in the van. So she's helping me out. We want somewhere to go find a tire. And the owner of the tire store was so mean. So we left. I was like, not dealing with this. We're heading back to the car now. We're gonna drive the car to a tire shop, get in a tire, and then go home. Watch us home. All right, update time. I'm at another tire place. Turns out, if I wanna get a new tire, it's gonna cost $280. And that's not even the one that we really need to get. Like apparently- It's not we, even the correct it's not even the okay. tire. <laughs> All right, next stop on this adventure of life. We're at a coffee shop. I think it's called Groundwork Coffee it's in Venice. I got Angela and I a cilantro, don't put that all over. Well, cilantro.
nacho lime chicken bowl. And then I also got a banana chocolate muffin. Sounds good. I'm trying to look at the positives in life right now that we're eating food, we're safe. Nothing worse happened to the car, so that's good. And, and we're getting, getting it towed for free. Getting it towed for getting it towed for free by AAA. And I'm gonna go home and then just continue with life. <sighs> okay, y'all. After the craziest day, I am back. And Sarah's doing a workout at the beach with Shelby Church. If you guys know Shelby Church, YouTuber, lover. I haven't seen her in a while, so I threw on my workout clothes, my new Lala leggings, and I'm gonna go to the beach and work out with them. Let's go. Hi, guys. Hi, Shelby. I haven't seen her in forever. Look at these little fitness models on the beach. Oh, gosh. Woo! The family oh, one of those babies. Oh, those babies. Babies. <laughs> Reunited, and it feels so um, good. Oh, look at this beauty. Fam all together. I have found that I feel comfortable in what I'm doing. I'm identified with what I'm doing because it's according to my skills. Right. Happy birthday. Birthday, but we're being friendly and saying happy birthday to people next door. Back home, and what do I find my family doing? <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys, my family has left. I am so unbelievably tired. I might edit before going to bed because I want to get a vlog up, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Today's vlog was so interesting, but it just all was worth it when I had my family here. I loved having them here. Or they're still going to be here. They're still here, but got some adventures with them tomorrow, so I'm pretty pumped about that. So I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace on Girl Scout. Bye.